Hello everyone, I'm Mark from Listen Up, and I'm here at the Listen Up showroom in Denver with Scotty. Hey everybody. We are going to take a little tour of Macintosh. That's right, we're going to take a look at some of their amplifiers, their pre-amplifiers, uh, a great receiver, an awesome surround sound processor, and a few of their other items that uh, we think quite a bit of. Yep, if you are a fan of Macintosh, you definitely want to check this out. We've sold Macintosh here for years. It's an iconic line in the industry and for us as well. Uh, you'll always see Macintosh products on display in our stores. We're, we're big fans. Yeah, Macintosh has that signature look, right? Um, the blue meters, the backlit green logo and badging, the classic knobs, right? It, it has a look to it that just screams hi-fi. Okay, but what it, what is it about, and people love it for that. Yeah. What is it about the sound that everybody loves, though? You know, it, it's, a, it's a line that's been built in Bingham to New York since the late 40s, early 50s. It's American-made, uh, founded by Frank McIntosh and Gordon Gow. Uh, Gordon, famous for his amplifier designs. And although Macintosh is known for their tube amplifiers and pre-amplifiers, all of their gear has that warm tube-like sound, even, even the big solid state stuff. Yeah, if you're somebody who's really serious about your hi-fi, right, you've got a good system, you definitely want to consider having some Mac in your setup. Everyone should have a piece of Mac once in their life for sure. Right. The first component we're going to look at is the 275 tube amp which is a classic piece from Macintosh, right? It's been around for quite some time. Yeah, this amplifier originally came out in 1961 and had a 10-year run where it quickly became one of Macintosh's most popular products. Uh, it was reintroduced, I believe, in 1993 uh, as a commemoration to Gordon Gow. And the version we have now is the sixth rendition of that piece. Now, I'm more of a solid state amp guy. Um, I've never owned a tube amp. I don't really know that much about them. I mean, what is the appeal? Uh, you know, uh, history, it's a historic design. People love the glow. Macintosh has really taken it a step further with the green LEDs that they embed in there. Um, you know, good tube products are expensive to build, and I think that's why you've seen a, um, a, a draw towards the solid state market. But it's, you know, the sound of a good tube amp, it's warm, it's inviting, it's about as natural a sounding uh, recreation of, of music that you'll hear from an amplifier when done properly. So if you are a tube amp aficionado, yeah. right, you're going to want to check out the 275. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a great piece. All right. Next, we're going to talk about the C49 preamplifier which would make, make a nice addition to the um, 275 tube amp that we just discussed. Yeah, it'd be a great compliment, man. I love the C49. It's Macintosh's uh, entry-level stereo preamplifier, and it's loaded. It has an upgradable DAC um, called the D1 DAC. It has a phono stage that supports both moving magnet and moving coil cartridges. Um, nice. uh, an array of inputs, balanced inputs for higher end analog sources, balanced outputs, which would be the best way to connect it to the C49, or excuse me, the C75 amplifier. Just a great piece for sure. So the DAC that it comes with is a solid DAC, great sounding DAC. It's an awesome DAC, yeah, it's an awesome DAC. The D2 DAC, uh, which is the upgrade, uh, gets you into some support for uh, HDMI ARC, um, some of the more modern connectivities, but either DAC or fully capable to support all the high-res signals, DSD, stuff like that. But that's the great thing, though. If they continue to improve that technology over the years, you can upgrade that part of the piece and own it for 10 years, you know, 20 years, 30. That, that's the whole idea with Mac. You know, this is the stuff you buy and you own it forever. You know, it's a legacy product. You can hand it down to your friends, your family, favorite hi-fi guy. Uh, it, it's a piece that you know becomes uh, part of the part of the team for sure. <laughs> okay. 
Now we're gonna take a look at the MAC 7200, which is a receiver. I love this piece. It's got lots of power. It gives you a lot of that capability that you would normally have to have a preamp or amplifier with. Um, it's kind of an all-in-one piece. What, what else can you tell me about it um, hits on some of the details of this? It, it, it's an awesome piece, man. It, the MAC 7200 checks off all the Macintosh boxes. Um, 200 watts per channel, auto former design, so you get that power whether your speakers are 2 ohm, 4 ohm, or 8 ohm. Uh, has the D1 DAC, much like the C49. That DAC is upgradable to the D2 DAC. It has the phono stage that supports both moving magnet and moving coil. Has the glass face plate, the iconic knobs, the cool meters, AM and FM. Um, it's the piece everyone should have for sure. Yeah. But again, you get that upgrade capability with it, but with the DAC that you can upgrade over the years and as new technology changes and so keep that up to date yeah yeah you know this is a, this one another one of those items that you'd want to buy and you know own forever or man make sure it's in your will you know for sure because it's, <laughs> it's a great piece now we are going to take a look at some powerful monsters the mc611 monoblock amps i'm a two i have a two channel amp um, i've really never explored uh, hooking speakers up to the mono blocks. Um, so tell me a little bit about that experience. I know yeah. it's next level. Yeah, the 611s are, are special. You know, these guys have all the Macintosh goodie built into them. You know, the, the power guard technology, the sentry monitor technology, quad balance design, auto former, 600 watts. Um, just no limit to what this thing can do or the speakers that it can drive. So when you hook them up to a set of speakers, they're going to really bring that speaker to life, right? You're going to hear like incredible clarity. Talk a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, you know, rooms are different. Applications are different. You know, when you get into the, the, the big monoblocks and the big speakers, you're usually trying to fill a larger room with sound. Um, and that gets tough to do. You know, it's different than filling a traditional living room with sound. You need a lot of power. You need speaker surfaces that can move a lot of air. And the 611s do that so gracefully. Um, it's just a, a very controlled, very fun to listen to design. I've got a few customers that have these, uh, these amps in their system. And every time I hear them, it's just, it sounds like you're in a concert hall. And if you lose power in your house, you can just hook the whole house right up to them and power it, right? Or at least if the heaters go out, you know, these things will keep you warm for sure. Yeah, they're pretty incredible. The next thing we're going to look at is kind of an interesting piece. Uh, the MEN220, which is all about room correction. Yeah, the, the, the MEN220, easily one of Macintosh's... Uh, cooler pieces, you know, one of the areas where technology, modern day technology has really made some payoffs is in the ability for these companies to design these room EQ products. You know, the MEN 220 comes with a microphone. You place it at various points in the, at various points in the room and the room perfect software uh, will work within the MEN 220 to uh, help improve over anomalies in your room's acoustics, phase, some of the other perfections that affect the way music sounds in a room. And so for acoustic treatments, like if you don't have treatment in your room, um, this will give you a lot of the same effect, correct? Yeah, the, the, the MEN220 is the perfect solution for people that don't have these, these acoustically treated rooms, um, aren't happy with the way their stereo sounds in their room, uh, but even, even more so, even if you do have an acoustically treated room, the MEN220 can help to get you that little bit extra performance. We have ours in the high-end room, which has been acoustically treated. That room sounds great, uh, but when we added the MEN220 to the system, it made it sound even better. Yeah, so it's like the absolute insurance in terms of getting your room 
yeah, sounding you, great. You know, it's, 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 it's doing everything you can to get every bit of performance you can get out of your system. Uh, the MEN220 can also be used as a two-way electronic crossover. So if you okay. want to buy amp your speakers and really get the most out of their capabilities, uh, there's some really cool feature sets within the MEN220 that I think goes a long way in helping with that. All right. Now we're gonna talk about our first home theater component from Macintosh, the MX-180. Yeah, let's shoot right to the top. You know, the MX-180 is Macintosh's flagship surround sound processor. Uh, features the same room perfect uh, room equalization technology as what well was in the MEN-220. Uh, the MX-180 is designed to do that across all channels. MX-180 can support a full 7.2.4 Atmos surround sound configuration. It has 8K inputs across, 8K capabilities across all inputs. Um, man, if you're looking for a hot rod, musical sounding surround sound processor, the MX-180 is, is, is about as good as it gets. So if you are an audio enthusiast, a two-channel person, right, you love your music, um, you're getting a lot of that same performance in a home theater setup, in a multi-channel setup. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that, that's the biggest reason I suggest Macintosh surround sound systems to my clients. You know, a lot of them are really into music, but they want to do surround sound. And where a lot of the surround sound systems make movies sound great, I would say that not all of them make music sound great. Okay, so if you're a headphone head, is that a thing? Is that what you call a headphone enthusiast? Headphone sure, head? a heady. A heady, I like that better. If you're a heady, uh, you really love headphones, you are definitely going to want to check out the MHA200. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a lot of gear uh, has support for a headphone, and you know the Macintosh C49 itself has a wonderful uh, headphone amplifier uh, built into it. But it's not the level of the of the 200. You know, the 200 borrows a lot of the same tube technology uh, that's in place on the MC275, and you know goes back to 1949 when Frank McIntosh and Gordon Gow first started designing electronics. Um, this thing, unlike a receiver ha or you know, a, a preamp with a headphone jack on it, this has balanced inputs, balanced outputs for the headphones. So a lot of headphones can be driven off of balanced cables. This will support that. This also has four uh, selectable input uh, impedance settings so that you can really dial in the headphone amplifier to the characteristics of the headphones. It's like having the mono block for your headphones. It's, it's going to give you that just full on intense experience with a good pair of headphones. It'll definitely take you to that next level. Yeah. That Macintosh level. Okay. Yeah. 